Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we want to do some more experiments with the medieval style slingshot crossbow. And also I want to show you a few new shooters that I've made these last two weeks. So I added a scope to my medieval style slingshot crossbow. And um, I bought for 5 euros, I bought a used military surplus G36 scope for the German assault rifle. And uh, it's just 5 euros and it's a great scope. Of course, it cannot be adjusted, therefore I had to make a wooden mount, uh, which can be adjusted sideways and also uh, up and down, so you can really sight it in, and it's a very, very accurate weapon now. Of course, it had to be very short, because everything has to be behind the nut, since a normal, uh, a normal scope would make it impossible to cock the weapon. Okay, a lot of people wanted to see how the weapon is cocked. What you do is you put the foot in the stirrup and put the knee against the stock. <coughs> then put, you put in the ball and you take the rubber band and stretch it out and put it over the ball. And then it's ready for shooting. So this is the 100 pounds uh, rubber band from the spare gun and this is the thickest type, 20 millimeter. This has 200 pounds of a, of a draw weight and uh, as you see I had to strengthen everything to a ridiculous degree. The uh, crossbow broke once so I had to reinforce it. I also had to reinforce the nut and the trigger with steel so that it can withstand, uh, withstand the pressure. And um, now I'm going to cock this and we're going to shoot 22 millimeter lead balls with it. Okay, I'm catching my breath. It was that hard to cock, but I got it done. Now we're going to shoot against the stone and look at how the lead is flattened. Look at what happened. <laughs> wow, quite impressive. I have to say that this kind of rubber does not make sense without a crank or a winch mechanism. Even for me it is very hard to cock it. And um, I actually needed my camera woman as an assistant to help me loading it. But actually I'm very proud that the mechanism held. I mean it's a homemade weapon with uh, you know, wood as the main material, and still it was holding a 200-pound uh, draw. I wanted to show you four new shooters that I've made in the last two weeks. Um, really attractive and interesting designs. First one is this one. It's made out of antler, but it also has a heart made from a solid 25 millimeter steel ball. Uh, it's um, very nice and actually very comfortable to hold. Let's shoot. Good shooter. I further worked on the antler idea and made a slingshot that I call the six circles slingshot because it's made from six different radiuses. There's a radius here and here and one here and one here and two in the fork. So it's all made from circles. And uh, I love that the antler is giving it some kind of nice natural touch. It is very ergonomic to hold. I love it. This next one is what I call the Skeletor. Because it's really a slingshot that's brought down to the core but is really needed. Since when you draw out a hammer grip slingshot, the pressure points here in the webbing between thumb and index finger and on the pinky. When you pull out, this is what takes the pressure. So I left everything else away. I angled the fork slightly forward and also added some kind of fork tips here made from the, from the same Thuja wood. I think it's beautiful and it's a great shooter. So 
So I bought some scrap noble wood on eBay. I don't know what wood that was, but it was a small piece. So I had to, um, you know, kind of shape it the way how the original wood piece was. And what came out is something that kind of reminds me on a wasp. That's why I call this the wasp. Um, it follows the skeletor um, in so far as they are, the, are fork tips made from the same wooden material and it's very comfortable to hold. Really nice and great looking. Well that was it for today. Thanks and bye bye.